Is valid is a node that checks if something in your game actually exists. But what does that actually mean? Is valid is actually a macro that looks like this. It's just a shortcut to help us save time when we need to check if a reference is still good. To demonstrate, here's an enemy actor that constantly rotates to face the player. It does this on tick using the find look at rotation node with the player's location as the target. So now, if I fall, the character will be destroyed. Boom. Accessed none trying to read property. Why am I getting this error? This happens because the enemy class is getting the player character's location. But since the player character is destroyed, it doesn't exist anymore. So the game throws an error when it tries to get its location. That's where the is valid comes in. So we need a way to ask, hey, does this thing still exist? If it does, great, the code continues. If it doesn't, we safely skip that part, avoiding crashes or errors. So anytime you get an access none error, it means you tried to do something with a reference that no longer points to anything. Let's take a look at another example. When the game starts, I spawn a fire effect on my character. Then when the character touches water, I destroy the fire emitter. Simple, right? Except, bam! Another error. Attempted to access fire, but fire component is not valid. Here, it actually tells us directly. So even though the error message is different, the solution is the same. What happens in this case is that since we're overlapping the water and overlap events happen multiple times at once, the fire is being destroyed many times. Since only one fire particle was ever created, we're trying to destroy something that isn't there anymore. Another thing that you might do unintentionally in your game is reference something before it's valid. So here, I'm using a sequence, and since the sequence node runs in order, the code will attempt to destroy the fire, even though it hasn't been created yet. You might think that using is valid is the solution here, but actually even that won't work. Although we will prevent the error, the code won't execute. The solution? Change the execution order or add a small delay and then check again.